Hello everyone, welcome to episode 3 of Dapper Volk. In this episode, you're going to be seeing a lot of fun, random events. I've had a lot of these events happen to me uh, the past couple of days while I've been playing Dapper Volk offline. And here's one now. Let's see what type of treasure Dorian has found for us. It says, random event, your pet has sniffed up a hidden reward and looks at you expectantly. Oh, he's found us 200 potatoes. How nice. Thank you, Dorian. I was just messing around in the forums, checking out the different threads, responding to a couple of the fun ones that I saw. A lot of people are posting um, like, what's your favorite color? Or who's your favorite Animal Crossing villager? Um, and of course, who's your favorite Animal Crossing villager? I couldn't resist. So I responded to this forum post and then afterwards, I noticed a little pop-up that has Dorian here and it says random event. Your pet is pawing at the ground. What's in its mouth? Let's click claim reward and see what happens. Ooh. All right, we found snail friends. You thank your pet for the lost treasure and stow it away in your inventory. Snail friends, ease your need for companionship with these snail friends who like to look well-dressed, plus three tenacity. All right, we have to go check that out. Oh, is this an item for us? I'm gonna add it to the wardrobe. So yeah, it looks like snail friends is actually an accessory that we can put all over. Oh my gosh. So it replaces our little circlet that we were wearing, but instead we get to have little snail friends everywhere and this one down here has a mustache? Oh man. We, we have to wear that. We have to. The elven circlet, obviously since we're an elf, it fits, but man, those... Snail friends, that's <laughs> where it's at, for sure. I went to check out what Bully's repeatable quest could possibly be, and of course she wanted me to go steal some turnips from Bernard. And check this out. We literally are going to play a game called Turnip Thief, <laughs> where we run from Bernard and try to get turnips, and I'm really excited, and I'm jazzed about this music, so... I guess let's give this a shot. Oh. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> oh. Okay, well, instantly I'm so bad at this, but oh. <laughs> this is <laughs> This is fine. We're doing fine. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh, oh, oh no okay well um that was rough <laughs> so it says sending score i wonder if we have to wait press enter oh oh shoot are we not supposed to oh god that's a fast bernard <gasps> oh um I'm not sure if we were supposed to wait for it to send the score. I don't know if it sent my previous score, but it's okay. It wasn't very good, so... <gasps> oh! This this game is terrifying. It's so hard. Oh. I really feel like I have to, like, outsmart... You, there's, there's no, like, predict predictable patterns. Like, you just have to go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's literally so... M oh, man. <laughs> Oh, hey, there we go. You received 74 potatoes and a plump turnip. All right, press enter. Oh, we're just, okay, we're just gonna play again, I guess. We'll play a couple times and see if I can beat my score. But yeah, this is definitely like really challenging. And only using, I'm only using arrow keys. Actually, I'm only using WASD right now. I thought that would be like the most intuitive thing, but it's still pretty, um... <gasps> what? He did not catch me there! Oh, come on. Okay. Alright, I think that's- I'm good for now. <laughs> that was crazy! Oh my gosh, but that's such a fun thing. Okay, hold on. So... Playground items. 
Oh my goodness. This is my first time seeing this. Welcome to the playground. Have some fun testing your skill in some mini games and earn potatoes and items while doing so. More games are incoming with new town discoveries. So that's Turnip Thief we just played. Three's Forest Cleanup. Sylvie's Artifacts. Starry Night. And I'm not sure how to pronounce this. Ver Sea Forage? These look really cute. I'm pretty jazzed about this. Let's see what Three's Forest Cleanup is about. Oh, that's such peaceful music. Oh, is this a match three? Uh-oh, I like this. Oh, wait. I didn't read the instructions. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm shooting the... Okay, all right, all right. I did it all right oh this is this is fun this is my kind of game right here Yay! This is so peaceful, I love it. forest drop cake and 175 potatoes all right that game is a blast love it Let's see what starry night is about uh-oh <laughs> select your play style between keyboard or mouse slash tablet hmm let's do drama Draw the shapes. Oh. Wait, what? Uh. All right, I don't know what I did wrong. Uh. Light mode instructions. Oh, boy. It's actually a little more challenging than it looks. I don't know how to get rid of the zigzags. 
Oh no! Y'all, I don't know how to- I didn't know how to do the zigzags. <laughs> oh no! Hey! 69 potatoes though. Can't get much better than that. Alright. Let's see what this game's all about. More very peaceful music. Oh! Now this is a true match three. Ooh, I love this. I could play this game for hours. <laughs> to be strategic here. Does the money count as a match? It does. time well that was really fun oh we didn't get a whole lot of potatoes though huh all right well listen I love those games um we'll try Sylvie's artifacts a little bit later um, only because I would like to see some of these items that we found. All right, so forest drop cake, a gelatinous treat made in the shape of plants from the threes forest. Feed this to your pet to raise its happiness by one, which would be great because I think actually Dorian's really unhappy today. So maybe we should feed him that cake. And then we got a plump juicy turnip. So th and three of those. So let's go to the quests really fast and... Give one of these turnips to Bully because that's what she was asking for, which started me on this path to uh, find those games. I love that. Did you get that turnip I asked for? Let's go ahead and give her our plump turnip. That was quick. You're a natural born thief, it seems. I don't know if I like that moniker, but okay. <laughs> I'll put this to good use. Don't worry. Bully seems a bit more friendly towards you now. All right. Oh, she gave us a blue icing cone cake. All right, thank you. Now the other thing I wanted to see is if we can put these... Oh, here we go. I was, was going to use this alchemize uh, option, but I'm not even sure what that does. But this is what I was looking for, is if we could incubate these and maybe get another pet. All right, it's happening. Okay, so this one is going to take a lot longer. Um because I was reading something that your your first one is only meant to take about an hour to kind of get you started but then after that all the other turnips you hatch will take longer so this one's going to take eight hours so we will definitely check back in with this turnip a little later the next morning 
I was just playing some of the Sea Forage game, which is quickly shaping up to be one of my favorite games. Um, so one of my favorite mini games so far. Um, and I actually scrolled up and noticed we have another random event. Uh, this time it looks like it's from Calbit. And Calbit says, hey, boy, have I got a cool present for you. Wait till you see it. So let's click claim reward and see what happens. <gasps> Ooh, you thank Calbit for the nice gift and stow it away in your inventory. It's not a wizard keys recipe, an item alchemy recipe to alchemize not a wizard keys. <gasps> well, this is a development. We got a recipe for one of old farmhands items from Calvet? That's really interesting. You can see I have some other cakes and stuff here that I've been earning from those from those mini games because I really do like them. So uh, did he say we can alchemize this? Let's just give it a shot and see what happens. Ooh. Item alchemy allows you to combine five items into a new rare item. Some rare items can be created using specific recipes, and others can be obtained through random alchemizing. Alchemy engine. You found a strange bubbling cauldron in your inventory. Your items are mysteriously drawn to it. Select the items you wish to combine in your inventory. After clicking alchemize, you will return to this page. Caution that items which are added to the cauldron will disappear permanently to form something new. <gasps> okay, wait a second. Do we just have to guess? So we can alchemize randomly without a recipe, which is a risk, or we have to use a recipe. So I think I maybe shouldn't have clicked this. Oh, where it says use single items. I always default to going down here where it says manage items, but you can you can just click use. Okay. Okay, using not a wizard keys recipe. Use this item in order to add the not wizard keys recipe to your recipe book. Okay, let's do it, why not? This is our first recipe, so let's see what happens. You have unlocked this recipe. So let's go back to item alchemy and see if it shows up there now in our item recipe book. There we go, ooh, this is really cool. Okay, so literally to get these not wizard keys. We need a red shortbread cone cake, a gold caramel sh cone cake, and another gold caramel cone cake. So basically we need two of these and three of these, and I only have one and one right now, so we can't make it yet. But that is really cool, and it even tells you when you discovered it and how many times you've used the recipe. That is such a cool feature, and I love that that happened from a random event too. So yeah, we've got some fun stuff in our inventory. Um, there's two things I would like to try really quick. First thing is I would like to try feeding Dorian a food item because I've never tried that before. And I definitely think it would be interesting to see what types of effects these food items that we have have on our pet. However, I definitely don't want to feed Dorian those cone cakes that we're going to be using in, in that alchemy recipe. Like, I want to try to save those up because I do want to try that alchemy recipe at some point. He actually seems pretty happy. 25% success rate depletes 25 appetite. Wait, wow, this depletes a lot of appetite. Charm plus one. This one doesn't seem to have any other status effects. Like, this is honor plus one, tenacity plus one, comprehension plus one. So some of these cakes just seem to be improving mood. I am actually really, really curious to see what these different cakes do. I just have kind of been hanging on to them because I'm not sure if there's like a more opportune time to use them, but no time like the present, right? <laughs> so uh, actually, I think I want to try this one, the blue icing cone cake. Oh no. So, oh no, okay, so, uh, all right, well, I should have known this has a 10% success rate. Um, so we actually didn't gain any affection, no stats, and it says we've improved his happiness by negative 80. So I feel like his happiness maybe went down from us doing that, but we have improved his mood from neutral to cheeky. Uh, so cool, I guess? Um, I'm not really sure. Let's try to pet. We'll, we'll go and pet him and talk to him and... Ah, there we go. So, he gained some affection from us petting him. Let's talk as well. Oh, good. Okay, we already chatted. It had a little bit of an error there, but... I guess we already chatted. 
And then... I'm still not 100% sure what's happening with this meter. Like a minute ago it said 90 out of 10. And then it dropped by 80, but now it says 0 out of 10. So I'm not really 100% sure there, but our affection with Dorian is going up. Which is a great sign. So that's good for now, I think. Um, the last thing I want to do while I'm here is... Uh, we have a plump turnip that we actually got from playing a mini game um, that is ready to hatch right now. So let's go ahead and hatch this bad boy and see what happens. I'm really excited to see what we get. <gasps> Cute! Oh! A turnipling appears. Makes itself comfortable in your menagerie. So we're going to have to name this little one as well. Okay, I don't know why, but for some reason when I was just sitting here looking at this cute little image of this turnipling, the name Ginny came to mind. I think this turnipling is a Ginny for sure. All right, Ginny. So now we have two quaint turniplings. I wonder what other descriptors can be used for these turniplings. If there's like other, I don't know what the word is that I'm looking for. Like other affects that they can have. Well, at least Ginny is, uh, she's a little bit pleased with us. We have a little bit of affection. So now we have two. Oh, they're literally so cute. I really, I really like that. I'm definitely excited to see what happens in the future. I don't know about anyone else, um, but I just feel like I just want to keep playing constantly. Um, and the thing is, I don't want to miss out on anything when I'm not recording. So I've actually been avoiding playing when I'm not recording um, for YouTube, but I am just very tempted to keep going. I really love this game. Exploring and discovering new things as you go along is basically 100% of this game's charm. I really like it. So yeah, we'll definitely see where this goes. I'm very excited to keep going with this game. Don't forget, um, if you haven't already signed up for this game and you are interested in playing, don't forget to use my referral code. It is in the YouTube description box down below. And uh, when you use the referral link, I get a referral point and so do you. And you can use those referral points to pick an item from the prize pot. So definitely consider doing that if you're interested in playing this game because I can't recommend it enough. It is honestly so fun so far. That is going to be it for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed. Please consider subscribing to my channel and turning on notifications so you know when I post a new video. In the next episode, we will be trying adventuring for the first time. It looks super fun, so I hope you'll all join me in the next episode. Bye!